The erosions here along the Wagon Hill Farm is really bad. It's been a problem for years. It's being aggravated by a lot of different causes. One of the biggest ones is tide. The rising sea level has been plaguing the Wagon Hill Farm shoreline in Durham, and local experts are applying for more federal money to slow it down. It's such an important community spot for Durham and lots of other community members in the area. Senator Maggie Hassan got a tour along the areas where they've successfully stopped erosion and other spots that need more work. Sadly, we are seeing really serious erosion and sea level rise on our coast. Now I want you to take a look around me. All of this that you see right here is salt marsh that the town actually put in in 2019 and it was a successful way to stop the erosion and it goes all the way down to where that fence stopped. It's looking great down there. One of the first living shorelines to address erosion issues in New Hampshire um, that's been installed. Now take a look at some of these fallen trees. They fell due to the coastline erosion. Now this is part of the coast that the town of Durham says they need more federal money to try to help preserve and make more resilient. However, this time they want to do it with more organic strategies. The grant will fund uh, the final design and construction of some living shoreline nature based approaches that will help protect that shoreline into the future. Senator Hassan says what she's seen today is encouraging, but action is needed now. We really can slow this erosion and this sea level rise down. In Durham, Troy Lynch, WMUR News 9.